really, I, I, um, when I was at Washburn, um, you know, they, they, um, the owner uh, there was just always really willing to try new things. I mean, whether it was, um, you know, a TV campaign, which I think we were the first to do uh, on Unplugged and stuff like that, or, or just letting me experiment with guitars and designs. And, it, and it's, you know, what I've learned over the years uh, is this, this shape is treacherous. It, it, it is just, it is enough to institutionalize you when you try to figure out what works. And, and I'll spare you, but really, I actually sat down once and listed all, in a particular style of guitar, all the brands that succeeded and all that did it and didn't, rather. And what were the little, what was the nuance in each of these things that made, what was the common thread in the ones that succeeded and what was the common thread in the ones that didn't? And the subtlest little thing, like the way this line turns over that little space there, uh, on both sides can give the guitar this sort of energy, like it's charging, or, or it can look like you're dragging a sack of potatoes behind you. <laughs> and uh, so guys, you know, people at Washburn let me do that. And it's just all these jobs where I would, and you even forget the things you did. I was in a store the other day looking at a, a Gretsch, and I went, oh. Jeez, I did that pick card. You know, you forget. But all those little things um, created sort of this great um, learning experience because it, it really, there's no rule book on it. If you, if you look at a building and, and something about it you don't like or a, or, or a sport coat or something, it's very easy to go and fix it. But you move a line here, the way this turns over or down in here, a sixteenth of an inch and the whole thing changes. I mean, it's diabolical, I'm telling you. <laughs>